Today on the channel from Marvel Legends, we've got the Target exclusive Spider-Man Homecoming Vulture. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Marvel Legends unboxing and review. Today we're taking a look at the Marvel Legends Deluxe Vulture figure from the Spider-Man Homecoming movie, the Target exclusive. But for all your other Marvel Legends needs and a whole lot more, hit up Big Bad Toy Store, link in the description below. So we're going to do this unboxing like we do all the other unboxings out there. We're going to take a look at the packaging, we're going to talk about it, we're going to unbox it, we're going to talk about it. We'll see where it goes from there. We'll compare it to the old Vulture Build-A-Figure from a few years back. And uh, truth be told, when this was announced on that Hasbro live stream from the Marvel Legends team, I had a, a audible groan. I said, Ugh, what are they doing here? I don't want this back out. Uh, this isn't what I'm looking for. I'm fine with the Vulture I had before. Not my favorite Build-A-Figure of all time. I, I was fine with it, but... Uh, you know, other people didn't get that one. Other people wanted it. Now they get to build a figure complete in a package. They put a little bit of uh, dressed it up a little bit. It is a little different out there. So we'll compare it like we said. But to me, I was like, oh, I don't want to spend that much money on this because this was $41.99 uh, plus tax depending where you live. So roughly a 45 or so dollar figure out there just seems just astronomical as we're still under the inflation sticker shock that just recently took place. So it just didn't feel like a good enough deal for me. Uh, just very, very, just not what I wanted. And my thoughts were I was going to pass on this. I said, well, that's the first Marvel Legends in a long time I'm passing on. But then there's a sucker born every minute and sometimes you're not the sucker and sometimes you are the sucker. And I guess I was as I was toy hunting on a week where there just wasn't anything out there. I couldn't find anything. And miraculously, there was a Target Circle coupon going on out there. Saved 25% off one figure. I said, you know what? You haven't found anything for a while. 25% off. You know what? What the heck? I'm going to do it. And I pulled the trigger. I'm still a little bit ashamed of myself, honestly. But we'll see how this looks. I had some thoughts when I first saw this of what this really could be for somebody. And we'll get into that. And like I said, we'll do some comparisons. But let's take a look at the packaging first on this one. It's that deluxe Marvel Legends packaging. We've seen it before. you got Spider-Man Homecoming. Marvel's Vulture, of course. Not to be confused with anybody else's Vulture. Uh, but it's Marvel's Vulture. A lot of stuff that looks familiar and a lot of stuff that looks maybe a little bit different than the old one. Uh, the Marvel Legends logo at the top. Spider-Man logo at the top. Can you see it? There it is. Glamour shot on the side. Same glamour shot on the other side. Warnings. UPCs, all the fun stuff here. And then you got some warnings in other languages down below. And then we got the blurb and we got a big glamour shot in the Marvel Legends logo. Let's read the blur blurb on the back. See what it has to say here. Marvel's Vulture, with an impressive flying apparatus, Adrian Toome soars through the skies to threaten Spider-Man. And I understand updating Vulture in the movie and everything. Michael Keaton, nothing against the guy. Uh, everybody's favorite Batman, it seems, sometimes. I'm an Adam West guy, but eh, it's neither here nor there. Uh, but I don't know. For me, in the Spider-Man movie, I would have liked to have seen an old man Vulture. When I think of Vulture, I think of the old man with like the age spots on him and stuff like that. We've gotten that figure in the past, which I do love. That's what I think of. This almost feels like a pilot, is what this feels like, a pilot that you know, made some mechanical wings and blah, blah, blah. The, the story writes itself, I guess, as we saw in the movie. But some people like this, some people don't, and some people are probably in the middle. It's just like everything else out there. But that's where I sit, which, as you guys know, is right here at this table. Let's pull them out here. Oh, it's warnings. See you later. Get out of here. Uh, kind of got a little Spider-Man webbing masked face going on back there. So uh, we're homecoming from Spider-Man. That's the way it goes. See you later up top. There it goes. All right. So now originally this was a Build-A-Figure over like six different figures. So there's a lot of wing pieces, a lot of parts here, uh, a lot going on in the old plastic prison as it just falls apart. See you later. So we got wing pieces, wing pieces. I'm going to build this off screen, of course, It's because it's going to take forever. But we got three plastic prisons with this one. So how about that? So we got this one going on. 
There it is. See you later. Whoa, right off the screen. Not messing around. We did get that same flight stand. We got this with the original Build-A-Figure, so that's nice that they continued that because these wings are very heavy, very top-heavy. Knocked the figure over, so that is needed. Then you get the traditional plastic prison, and we see some differences here. At least I see some differences, I should say. But there he is in the old plastic prison. The Vulture, looking only like he can look. Let's pull him out. Maybe, maybe pull him out. Got goggles. There it is. And... And see you later. Jeez. Making a mess here today. So, first thing I notice on this Vulture is the updatedness. Uh, you know, it does look different than the old Vulture, which I have right over here. And we're going to just put him... Let's lay him here for right now before we get into the deep comparison. But I like the more vibrant colors. The fluff uh, around his neck on his coat is a much nicer, kind of lighter, blonder type color there. And then the brown is a nice... Uh, vibrant and the green is very vibrant and the first time I saw this figure on the live stream and I see it here right now uh, for some of you guys that are way more creative and way smarter than me this would be fabulous as a custom G.I. Joe General Hawk figure for the classified series got Flint right here right next to him I mean they scale perfectly together Flint the gold standard of G.I. Joe of course as we all know I don't have to explain that to you guys uh, but how cool would this look? If you got a different head, uh, you just got to do something about the feet on this one, and that's where somebody smarter than me comes in. But this would look fabulous as General Hawk. With This is what I think of when I think this coloring of the coat and everything else. This could be General Hawk. So uh, I hope that happens. I hope we get a General Hawk in the Classified Series one, one day. But this is one of the first things I noticed when I saw it on the live stream, and it even looks better in person. This just feels like classified general hawk you could build upon this pretty quickly um but really cool so then you got the, the darker not darker more silver on the mechanical accents here it's a lot more silver where the other one was more of a doll color i felt so this is uh, a lot more vibrant really does pop more so they get some improvements and we've heard it from the marvel legends team in the past they design these movie characters tv characters and stuff they get early kind of drafts there but they don't get to see the movie till later on because they don't want spoilers out there and all that kind of stuff so we understand that but it sucks for us toy collectors as we end up getting two vultures over time because, hey, they get to go back a couple years later. They've seen the movie. They can make the upgrades. We saw it with that Marvel Infinity Saga line just recently. Uh, theoretically, we all should have got those figures the first time. And I wish there was a way to do that because it's truly not fair to our budgets to have to buy them twice, the same characters twice, basically. But then you don't know. Will it be re-released later? You don't know. So it's just frustrating. It's a frustrating time. That's where I sit on that. But I do like the looks of this one. He does look a lot better than the traditional build a figure we got in the past. Uh, where does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? How about that? Uh, kind of. Yeah, he does. He does. I thought it was limited with these boots. So I say it all the time. If you need stands for your Marvel Legends, ringsidecollectibles.com. Use discount code KYLE. Save 10%. Spend your money on your figures, not your stands. Uh, so we got that going on there. And then we got some of these apparatus, arm apparatus things that we can put on, which we did not get with the Build-A-Figure. So this is, once again, something new. You pop the hands off. We'll do this. We'll show this whole thing. We also get his uh, blasters. And he got a little yellow in mixed in with the silver. I do like the looks of this. This is all right. Once again, we did not get this with the Build-A-Figure. Uh, so that is cool. Then we get the goggles here. We did get the goggles with the Build-A-Figure, but I believe they were already on the head. I don't remember having to put these on. But uh, you can just slide, pop those bad boys on. They do, whoops, as I just throw it off the table. Ah, that's the way it goes sometimes. We'll get that. But they do pinch in on the sides. Uh, he does look a lot more menacing in the head sculpt without the goggles on. The goggles kind of dull him down, and that's like that on the build a figure as well. But those beady, vulture-esque eyes, I guess, really do pop on this one. So I like that a lot. There's a lot to like about this build a figure. It is better than expected, and we always love that. I don't know if the price point is worth it. That's uh, where you got to really ask the question there. Uh, you got some more vibrant colors as well on this one. Not terribly different, but in, especially in the spindles uh, there that help him fly. These are a nice fluorescent-esque blue where they're just plain gray plastic on this one. Uh, and then the, gar the green on here, really not a whole lot of difference there. And once again, goes back to this is not for everybody. This is not going to be for everybody. A lot of people had the old build figure. 
I don't know if there's a meat on enough meat on the bone here to spend upwards of forty dollars for another one of these. It's still cool. It still looks all right. There's nothing against it, but I just I don't know if the meat is there for you. And that's where you gotta kind of look yourself in the mirror and ask that question. But now let me go off screen. Let me put him together, and we can kind of compare these two and see what we're really working with. All right, we're back, and I got the new Vulture put together. Puts together just like the old one. Takes a little while, but when you look at the old one, you can kind of follow the pattern there, so that does work. I remember the first time I put this together, I kind of struggled. I was upside down on wings, and then once you get it together, you always say, oh, that wasn't as hard. I made that way harder than it needed to be. I'm sure some of you guys have done that in the past as well. But this one went together like a glove looking at this one. And I did put on his armor. He's got his arm braces there, his two weapons in his hand. Uh, I tell you, I like the looks of this. The mechanical look as well as the more vibrant colors on the Vulture looks a lot better than the figure on this one. Wings-wise, uh, the same thing. You're dealing with the same thing. I guess, do you like this fluorescent blue in the turbines or you like the silver? Uh, maybe that's up to preference out there. But not a lot of difference on the wings. The stands are the exact same. Not a ton of meat on the bone here. But a traditionally, a better figure, I'm going to say, all in all on this new one. But is it worth the upgrade? Is it worth spending the money for you? That's a question you got to ask yourself. I don't know. 25% off, I feel a little bit better about it. But I still don't feel the best about picking this one up. And personally, I know some collectors are new to the game that would love to see some older Build-A-Figures re-released. Personally, I would not because I don't want to see a different builder figure re-released, updated, maybe even made improvements because then you're like, oh, I need to get the improved one. I guess you can always sell the old one, but I, I want new characters. And I think most collectors have been around a while. We want to keep getting new characters, keep getting new characters. Don't rehash some of this stuff. But I have a feeling if this sells well enough, we might see more of that. The other thing with this is it being a Target exclusive, only to Target, of course, Maybe that's a, something the Marvel team's looking at. That, hey, they need exclusives. These retailers need exclusives. We can go back to the well, make a couple of updates, and we'll put them as an exclusive. So that way, you know, it's not a new figure that everybody is trying to find. They can, If they want it, they can go get it at Target. And I don't think you'll have any problems with this one. And I do think we'll have more sales at Target throughout the rest of the year. Uh, if you're going to buy this, play that long game. Use some points, some circle points, whatever. Buy it cheaper. That's going to be my recommendation there. But all in all, this is a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Uh, so I do like that. I still just can't get over the price point and uh, just kind of the re-releaseness of it all. But I would love to see somebody, if you ever do it out there, send it my way. I'd love to see a General Hawk custom made out of this. I think that would just be absolutely cool. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Somebody will probably do that eventually. But basically the same figures. The other thing about this is it is a very big figure when you take the wingspan in, as you can see right there. That is a huge figure. That is a huge chunk of real estate on your store, on your shelves. Not just store shelves, but your shelves, your collector shelves. But you do get the articulation on these. For those that don't know, didn't have this one, you can bend these in. Uh, you can bend this one in. There's a lot of different articulation you can do to kind of save space and move it in. My thing is I'll probably put these on different displays, articulate them a little bit differently, uh, try to just make points of difference the best I can out there. But you can save space, and you could also save space by not using the wings, and I may do that. I might take the wings off of this one and just use him as a regular character. That is another possibility out there if you're trying to figure out a way to display or make a point of difference between these two. Or you can mix and match. You could also put some of these parts on this one if you wanted to. So there's there's some things you can do out there uh, to make this a little different, but not a ton of meat on the bone, as I've said uh, repeatedly in this video there. But what do you guys think? You picking up this vulture? You passing on it? Are you fine with your old one? I have to think the majority of the people that have this one are content. They're just going to stay with this one. Uh, but I'd be interested to hear if any of you guys are like me that are picking up both of them. I'd love to hear your comments. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle, underscore Peterson, and of course, ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. So for the Vulture and Vultures everywhere, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.